Hey guys, welcome back to the hottest new game show. Who wants to be a murderer? M murderer. Let's go. Oh my God, forgive me. Or don't. That's up to you. Um, that's not the right. <clears throat> Here we go. Warning, sensitive contact, simulated violence, absurd decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all. to the Today, my dear viewers, we have the most intriguing case of... <clears throat> but enough from me. Let's dive right in and meet our first... Per and now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, we're... Welcome, Sarah Thompson, a journalist. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come... We have the enigmic... Enigmic... Enigmigat... Enigmigat... Did I just have a stroke? Am I stroking out right now? Uh, next up, straight from... Unknown with skill and determination, our wild card precipitant. <gasps> hey there. Hey there. It's me. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> <laughs> um, where whispers of the occult echo through the night, we have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood. Ins Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. <laughs> There you have it, dear viewers. Ready to do battle in this arena? So sit back, relax, and prepare yourself. Let the games begin. <laughs> Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from... In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test. And now, without further ado, let's dive into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Time to shine. Questions here. What is the name of the mysterious forest in Romania known as the most haunted forest in the world? The Black Forest. And the answer is... Okay. Where the whisper secrets and shut... Here we go, Richard. Question time. What ancient torture method involves try tying a per... I can't even read the question. No. <clears throat> Come on, Richard. And the answer is... <gasps> Richard... Great job, Richard. <clears throat> Talk about a stretch goal. <laughs> oh, let's hear it, Sarah. In ancient Rome, what was the name of the arena where gladiators fought to the death for entertainment? The answers are... I'm going to guess the Colosseum. Congratulations, Sarah. Why did I get the hard one? <sighs> Let's hear it, Edgar. Questions up. What is the name of the infamous serial killer who inspired the character of Hannibal Lecter? <sighs> the answers are... That would be A, Ed Gein. That would be... Edward Gein. Eddie. Eddie Gein. Eddie G. Seriously, why did I get the hardest one? <clears throat> A cannibalistic psychiatric. Oh. That concludes our first round of mind bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors, but don't wander off. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Except, well, when it comes to the mini game with a knife, of course. <laughs> We're off the air now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, just don't keep me waiting too long. Why are y'all looking at me? What's up? 
So, are you ready to continue? Do you know what I'm ready? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping trip. Tip. Snowy's Wish. An intense boss ba- Now, it's time for our first mini-game of the evening, where the contestant- Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Wait, what? Here are the... Oh, okay. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife. At the end of the timer, the contestant with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin. I did not. Oh. Wait. Shit! Oh, great. It's me again. Perfect. Great. Fantastic. Fuck. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. The unfortunate soul will be bidding adieu to us. Is, yeah, fucking me. Great. <sighs> Ending one of four. Dead. Just, just dead. Perfect. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's run it back, shall we? Shall we? Is that like a setting or something? What is this? Maybe I can just, uh, maybe I'll be able to read better. Auto skip dialogue. Let's turn that off too so I can actually read. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome one and all to the twisted spectacle that is our game show. Who wants to be a murderer? M murderer. Today, my dear viewers, we have the most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die. We have the en enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guest. It's a pleasure to grace you our screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Next up, straight from the United States of America, with the skill and determination of a true gamer, our wildcard participant, Shellshot. Hello, everyone. Ready to shake things up? And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction. Hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night, we have the inscrutable, inscrutable, inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greeting, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions, ready to do battle in this arena. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of madness. <laughs> Let the games begin! <laughs> Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chafe. The chafe. The... Okay. Uh, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test, and every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome $10,000. 
Now, without further ado, let's dive into the depth of the unknown, shall we? Here we go, Shellshocked. Question time. What substance was famously used in ancient times to preserve bodies for eternity? Excuse me, what? Ancient times? I'm gonna assume it's not formaldehyde because that seems like a new thing. I don't think tar would pres what's what's that? Nat natron? Nat natron? I, I would like to say honey. <laughs> Cause honey seems like it's been around forever, but like preserve. I mean, we use from wait, well, from out wait, I'm confused. I'm gonna go with honey. <laughs> And the answer is wrong. <sighs> Whoops. The ancient Egyptians used natron, a natural salt mixture, to preserve bodies during the mummification process. Time to shine, Richard. Questions here. What is the name of the infamous prison known as the Devil's Island? The answers are... Alcatraz, Devil's Island, Sing Sing, Robin Island. What is Alcatraz? Why did he get the easy one? My guess is Alcatraz, and the answer is correct. Alcatraz, where the most incorrigible of souls were banished, earning the title of the Devil's Playground, a vacation spot to die for. Next up, Sarah's question. Which ancient civilization believed in human sacrifice to appease their gods? The answers are Greeks, Romans, Aztecs, or Egyptians. Sacrifice. Either Aztecs or Egyptians, yes. I'm gonna go with the Aztecs. My guess is Aztecs, and the answer is correct. The Aztecs, masters of both pyramid construction and human resources, made the most of their lofty aspirations. Oh, what heights they reached. Time to shine, Edgar. Questions here. In the Middle Ages, what deadly disease spread by fleas on rats killed an estimated 25 million people in Europe? The answers are the bubonic plague, smallpox, tuberculosis, or cholera. I'm going to go with the bubonic plague. My guess is the bubonic plague, and the answer is correct. How come I got everybody else's answers correct? Fuck! The bubonic plague, where rats played Santa Claus and gifted boboos, boobos, to all boobos, oh my god, and gifted boobos to all the little good boys and girls. Nothing says holiday cheer like a festering sore. That concludes our first round of mind-bending questions, folks. And with that. We'll be taking a short break from our sponsors, but don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame. With a knife, of course. My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Um, Richard? With this knife game coming up, who knows what'll happen? I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. Sarah? I... I don't know if I can do this, shell shock. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? We can find a way out. Listen, Sarah, 
If you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risk hurting you. Shaw shocked. I think, I think I need to get out of here. Yeah, it's probably best if you leave. Yes, yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you, Shell Shocked. I appreciate your understanding. Bye, Sarah. Sarah? Edgar, my man. Are you sorry about Sarah, huh? By me. You did what we had to do. Edgar. I didn't know that was going to happen. Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live once again, but unfortunately, we have encountered a slight setback. Sarah will be unable to continue with the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. With one contestant already eliminated, we'll have to skip our first minigame, albeit reluctantly. But fear not, dear viewers, for the show must go on. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Were the contestants' morale fiber? Where the contestants' moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you ten thousand dollars so feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience <laughs> get ready for some thought-provoking questions folks get ready shellsha it's time you witness someone poisoning a stray animal how do you respond Confront and report the perpetrator. Ignore it. Nature takes its course. Rush, the a rush to aid the animal. Offer to refine their technique for a fee. There's no option to kill the person who poisoned the animal? Okay, well, we're gonna save the animal. Rush to the aid of the animal. Oh, interesting. Aww. I got points to be compassionate or to profit or to pro to be compassionate or to profit from misfortune. That's the dilemma. Here we go, Richard. Question time. You encounter a stranger offering you offering you a mysterious potion with unknown effects. What do you do? The answers are decline and warn others. Politely refuse and report the encounter. Accept eagerly, ready for anything. Accept cautiously, hoping for the best. Yeah, Richard, what are you gonna do with the potion? My answer is accept cautiously, hoping for the best. Damn, Richard, I got a potion for you. Oh, interesting. Ah, the elixir of uncertainty. Will you tempt fate or play it safe? Let's hear it, Edgar. Questions up. You can bring someone back from the dead, but another must die. What's the choice? The answers are reject, respect life's sanctity, sanctity, sanctity. Sacrifice a stranger for selfish desires. Accept, leave fate to decide. Revive a loved one. My answer is to revive a loved one. Oh, interesting. Life and death, macabre dance. Who will you resurrect? And who will meet their demise? Alrighty, folks, that wraps up the second round of questions. And my, my, have we peeled back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. 
The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After this short break, we'll reveal two, the two finalists of this twisted little game. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for a fresh face. For our fresh faces. Plural. Voting, eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems like we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. What's up, Edgar? Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. What's up with you, Richard? So it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes. Edgar, the champ. He's, he's a trouble. For me. And for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Okay, let's do it. So, Shellshocked, are you ready to continue? Or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Before we kick things off, gotta say, I like the answers you gave in that last round. You're holding your own pretty well. I'm doing my best. Better buckle up then. The best is yet to come and it's gonna be a wild ride. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at the incredible price of free. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. And here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes shall be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated and there'd be no winner. So then, think carefully including who you believe others might be voting for. All right, let's get down to it. Shell-shocked. Who are you voting for? Richard, don't fuck me over! Edgar. Richard, what about you? No hesitation. Edgar, that's right. And finally, the champ, Edgar. Richard. All right, we have a winner, or should I say, an eliminated contestant. Edgar, you're out of the game. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of this show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping $25,000. But enough chit-chat. I'm kidding, but enough chit-chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Shasha, your question awaits. How long does it typically take for a lethal dose of cyanide to cause death in humans? Um, cyanide. Four to six hours, 15 to 30 minutes, one to two hours, or five to 10 minutes. Cyanide. Cyanide. Oh no, that's chloroform. The cl chloroform cyanide. Four to six hours, final guess. And the answer is, fuck! Five to 10 minutes. Cyanide's deadly kiss, stealing breath with bitter almonds and sweet mortality. God damn it. Richard, here's your moment. What is the minimum core body temperature required for human survival? The answers are 32 to 35 Celsius, which is 90 to 95 Fahrenheit, 28 to 30, or 82 to 86. Um, 68 to 70, 59 to something. Wasn't it B, the, the higher one, the 96? Wait, the 90? We have to be in like the 90s, right? Yes, the 90s. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right. Fuck! Thirty-two to thirty-five Celsius, hypothermia is chilling in Bryce. Life's fire extinguished by fate's icy hand. All right, folks, it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills. A real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. I'm so far behind. Hope. You're all handy with a rifle. Oh, 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 oh. I am. Just so happens. I am. Richard, here we are. No more games or tricks from now on. It's just you and me left, but I'm sorry. I'll be the one walking away victorious. Okay, Richard. Well, Shasha, it's that time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final showdown? Or do you need a moment to gather yourself? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready, let's do this. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Minesweep Reborn, a modern reinterpretation of the classic Minesweeper with updated graphics and new gameplay mode. And guess what? It's absolutely free. I mean, who's the fool for playing us to promote these, right? I mean, who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? Ladies and gentlemen and esteemed finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed the mortality of the player and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In this final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method and if you've made it here. You have all the cards on the table to be true murderer. murderer. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action. And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience <laughs> be <laughs> will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Let the festivities begin. You suck, Richard. All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their mm, valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than... No, please, don't do this. I'll do anything I beg... Moi. Yes! But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Ending three of 
for murderer. How all these people got fifty thousand? Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. 